this here is my final project FSM where is the robot arm and as you can see it's currently at its zero state uh, with origin value so um, right now when I hit the action button it will uh, and I tick the clock Do it uh, this counter value down here will become one and this state zero one zero will merge and at this state uh, it will write to word zero but it will write to the word according to the value of this counter one since it's at state one we are writing to word zero so it will write to that so long as action button is high and I'm just gonna tip through to a word we can actually read so there uh, we got a one byte at zero zero one zero one zero one that will should be stored in word zero so when I take it off um, turn the action button off or release action button uh, it should stop uh, recording oh. and then so now we can now we want to say store another value and as soon as I tick that comes on and this counter one is now two. So now we're writing to word um, word one and we will do this so long as the action button remains high. Well more um, action button sync remains high. Uh, so uh, let's stick to different values then. Word uh, zero. There, that's pretty good. Oops. Guess we gotta remove this. Uh, so. There we go. Okay, so now we have zero zero one zero one one zero zero stored in word one uh, so let's turn off the action button and after uh, one tick of the clock uh, sync will go low and we will return to the zero state and so now we have words zero and one written to so let's uh, write the word two so again right here uh, it's going to tick to the state 010 zero, zero, and this uh, counter 1 value is now 3 corresponding to and corresponding to word 2 uh, so now we're going to write 2 word 2 and let's write some value in there so 0011100 zero, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, zero. And there we go. Take it off. Turn to the zero state again. So basically the same thing for word three. Uh, hit the action button and take it. And now this is four. And uh, now. Uh, we will write a value into word three. Uh, so now word three should be zero one zero zero 
zero zero one one. Uh, let me turn off the action button. Uh, tick. And we return to the zero state. And Nick, and this time when we uh, hit the action button, uh, we should go to state uh, uh, 011100 or 101, corresponding to uh, the value of word 3 with respect to the current counter value. So I'm going to uh, take a counter uh, just so it's different than the word we have. Uh, so uh, now I hit the action button again to cycle through the moves. And so now that we see uh, the word three is uh, less than uh, the counter value, um, we will need to tick down. And we'll do that by changing uh, quadrature to be high. And that will allow us to take down. And once we become equal to uh, word value, um, then we will be equal to or less than the word value. Then we will be able to uh, go to the next state, um, 100, which says that we're uh, uh, quote unquote equal to that value. Now we're at the zero state, I'm oh, sorry, not zero state, uh, equal state, and now it cycles to the next uh, word value and compares it to our current counter value. And since we are greater than that value, we will have to put down again. So now that we're equal to that value, uh, we go to the zero state, and then we compare uh, these two values, and we will still have to tick down. So okay, now we are equal. So yeah, we're still greater, and uh, if you didn't see, uh, this counter value has been changing as we've been going along, uh, even uh, when we were uh, reading through the state, and we are currently at one zero zero zero. So basically, uh, this is the last word being written. Uh, being read from uh, so which is uh, word zero so when these two become equal uh, the counter will get the value of zero one zero one which corresponds to where we were reading from word three and comparing that to the counter value So, uh, sorry, skipped over that, but uh, as you can see, it got it, this counter got zero one zero one loaded into it, and we are now comparing the counter value and word three, and it'll continue to cycle like that, giving directions and steps accordingly.